Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my short video tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate single cell RNA sequencing data. In my previous videos, we merged uh, three repeats of single cell RNA sequencing data from normal human lung tissue and performed the standard uh, workflow analysis. So we all knew that there are experimental variations and this is why we always design experiment with at least three repeats. So you could observe the same biological effect, but you cannot obtain exactly the same value when you repeat your experiment. In single cell RNA sequencing data, we call these experimental variations as batch effects. So through that developed data integration method to correct the batch effect between experimental repeats or different experimental conditions. So we can have a look at the uh, cell canisters from our uh, standard analysis. So we can uh, use the dim plot function to have a look at the cell canisters from our standard workflow analysis. So uh, you can see uh, we have 18 cell canisters in our threat object. So we can use mark genes to identify a what kind of cell type they are. So uh, in human lung, we normally divide the uh, cells uh, in four types. So uh, epithelial cells, they can be enabled by the mark gene EPCAM. Uh, and cellular cells, they can be enabled by the mark gene CLDM5 and the collagen 1A2 we can use it to uh, enable messing chemical cells and the PTPRC, we can use it to enable uh, immune cells. So let's uh, run the feature um, plot function to enable four different cell types. We can zoom in again. You can see here are uh, epithelial cells, here are endothelial cells, here are uh, mesenchymal cells. The rest are uh, immune cells. Let's have a look at the metadata again for the analyzed threat object. So uh, you can see in the first column, so when we create the threat object, we uh, give a project name for each repeat, AML1 for a repeat 1, AML2 for repeat 2, and uh, AML3 for repeat 3. So uh, in the dim plot function, we can group uh, the cells with their origin ident. So we c in this way, we can identify the cells from each repeat. So let's run uh, the dim plot again. So n now you can see Cells uh, from repeat 1 are labeled in red color, repeat 2 
are named in green color and the repeat three are in blue color. So you can see uh, the cells from each repeat were not well integrated into each other by the uh, standard workflow analysis. They form uh, separate clusters. This is the reason that we need to perform integrated analysis uh, to correct the batch effect. So in my video 4, we performed uh, quality control and uh, selecting cells for further analysis for our merged uh, threat object and the save the uh, object. So we can open uh, this threat object and uh, perform integrated uh, analysis. We read this object into R. Let's have a look at the metadata. So you can see in the metadata, we have the uh, project name for each repeat. We have the n count, n features, and the percentage of mitochondria DNA. So we can view uh, the object. You can see we have 11,612 cells in our object. You can see in the command slot, the list is zero, which means that we didn't perform further analysis for the object. Okay, uh, to perform data integration, uh, first we need to create uh, an object list with uh, uh, three repeats. So we can use the uh, submit object function uh, to submit by a uh, layer project name. So let's run uh, the submit object function. So you can also use the uh, list function to create an object list, but I'm not going to show here today. So you can see we created a object list. So let's have a look the object list, you can see uh, we have three uh, list, AML1, AML2, and uh, NML3. So next, we perform data normalization and uh, uh, find the variable features for each list in the object. So unlike uh, uh, the merged object with the three repeats, Surat can see it as just one uh, object for the merged object. But here, Surat can see it uh, uh, as three objects to find variable uh, features for each one in the list. So we can run uh, this function. Yeah, Surat finished the analysis for both normalization and uh, find the variable features for each uh, repeat in the object list. From here, uh, Surat used a, a set of methods to match shared population across data set. So uh, this method uh, first uh, select uh, features that are repeatedly variable across the data set for integration. So next, uh, Surat identify cross the data set pairs of cells that uh, are in a matched biological state. We call it uh, uh, anchors. So the anchors uh, will be used to correct a technical difference between uh, three repeats. So we can identify anchors, use the, the find integration anchors function, which takes three 
list of throughout object as the input. Let's run this function. Uh, find the integration anchors. This uh, takes some time to run. Okay, so uh, we have the anchors now. Once we have the anchors, we can use the anchors to integrate uh, the three data set together with the integrate data function. So you can see down here, uh, throughout first merge data set 2 to 3, then merge the data set 1 into merged 3 and 2. So throughout finish the, the data integration, now we can perform an integrated analysis on our integrated data. So first we need to uh, specify that we will perform downstream analysis on the uh, integrated data. So we use the default assay for the object as integrated. We can run uh, this function. So following the uh, data integration, now we can run the standard workflow for realizing the cell clusters. First, we need to scale the data, then run PCA. After that, we find the uh, neighbors and the uh, clusters. So we can also run uh, the UMAP. So I showed you uh, the standard workflow in my previous uh, um, video. If you haven't watched it, you can go back to uh, watch the standard workflow. So yeah, we finished the, the uh, standard workflow uh, for the integrated data set. So now we can use the dim plot to uh, look at the cell clusters. So you can see uh, we use the uh, same resolution as the uh, previous standard workflow analysis, 0 0.3. And let's zoom in to look at the cell clusters. So previous standard workflow analysis, we got uh, uh, 18 cell clusters. Now with the integrated uh, data with resolution 0 0.3, we have uh, 17 uh, cell clusters. So now we can put the uh, uh, two dim plot uh, figures together uh, from previous uh, uh, standard workflow analysis. We name the the standard workflow analysis as uh, plot one, and then name the the integrated analysis as um, plot two. Then we can visualize them together. Let's zoom in. So now you can clearly see the difference uh, for the cell clusters before data integration and uh, after data integration. You can see for the uh, data integration, uh, cells from three repeat were integrated to each other very well. So this is the reason we need to perform uh, integrated data analysis if you have more than one data set. So now we can save our object and finish uh, today's video tutorial. So please subscribe my channel if uh, my threat tutorials could uh, help your research.